with Anishka. Uh, let me try and keep the momentum up. Um, it is easy and difficult to be the first speaker, right? So, Sri Vidya, I work for PayPal. I am a senior director. Seller risk, business intelligence, and analytics is the function that I lead. I am a data scientist by profession. My day job is data science and analytics. Have been with PayPal for over a decade now. Started my career in analytics and in risk nearly two decades back. Um, I've done a variety of roles here across various domains, all of it one way or the other related to analytics and risk. Ten years is a reasonably long time, and PayPal has been more than just an employer to me. I can go all day long, but I have what five minutes. Let me try and do as much justice as I can. Can you move to the next slide, please? Thank you. These are our core values. This is our culture. Culture is at the core. Value system is non-negotiable. And why am I here representing a company as massive as PayPal and looking at our values and culture? Because this is what got us to where we are, and this is going to take us to greater heights. Right? Just to give you an idea of the scale that we're dealing with, 1.25 trillion payments processed in the last year. This year, in the first quarter, we have grown 15% just in the payment volume in, in terms of currency, in terms of dollars. We are talking 11% more transactions per account, while the number of accounts themselves have grown many folds. We are talking 320 plus billion dollars in processing volume that we have done in this first quarter. A company as massive as that, an employer as large as that. And you would have read PayPal in news for a lot of acquisitions over the years, the wonderful partnerships and synergies that are being brought in. All that is possible only with a very strong value system, a very strong culture, which is what we pride ourselves in, right? So inclusion, innovation, collaboration, and wellness. Any PayPal will know this by heart. We just make it simpler. We say we care, we dare, we deliver, we partner, right? I mean, call it what you will, it's all the same. Inclusion as an extension of invitation. Invitation does not mean inclusion. You're invited to a meeting, but are you included? You're invited to a party, but are you included? Inclusion is the core of it all. Feel included, feel psychologically safe, and you will see the synergy. And we stick to it day in and day out. We breathe that value. We innovate. We do not mind failing, but we get up even before we fall. That's the way it is. That's the we dare part of it, which is the various acquisitions, the various synergies, the new products, customer first focus. Customer is everything. He's the king. He or she is the king. And, and one touch, PayPal is a button, yes, but much more than a button. One touch, international trade enabled, incentives, protection as a value proposition. When you buy something and you use PayPal, then you feel protected. Because you know what? There is that purchase guarantee that comes along with that. And then there is that very constant um, striving to keep the bad elements out and good elements in. Right? So all that needs tons of innovation, tons of pretty strong investments. And we need to stick a limb out. Right? We need to stick our necks out. Many times we just approach anything that shows face first. We don't mind because we are okay. We are okay. We dare. I think that says it all. Right? Collaboration. Like I said, people are the middle and center of anything and everything. You hold hands, you trust each other, you be open, you be transparent. That's it. You get done things in lightning speed or even faster than that. The scale that I mentioned, it was not achieved in one year. It was not achieved within a short duration. It was constant striving, regular and, and, and conceited and focused effort from an organization that is like more than a couple of 10,000 employees strong. India center alone is more than 6,500 employees strong. So we have three centers in India. Chennai is the first one, Bangalore, the second one, and Hyderabad came along with the similarity center. So these three centers together, it is about 6,500 employees and growing. And it is not only about do the job, right? It's about end-to-end -end ownership. It is accountability. It is standing for all these values. It's, it's innovation. It is ownership. It is you begin in the beginning and you end in the end and you own the outcomes, be it good, be it bad, 
if you fail fail fast and learn quickly and get up from that and continue to evolve wellness there is a reason that's the last in the list we deserve the last we deserve the best for the last period so that way employee wellness anybody's wellness nourishing mental health is what you see there right so that is the most important thing which is the platform or let's say the ground on which the other three values stand is the way we see it um some amount of personal why is included because like i said paypal is more to me than just an employer in the last 10 years i have learned and grown here the person i am today was not the person i was when i joined this company and i was coached day in and day out on the job by people who managed me by people who worked with me by people who did not work with me and this is just my opportunity to try and pay it forward so i do not know how long i spoke i think i think i just went in the flow um is my time up do i have time no i i think that's it but thank you so thank much you. for all that and i thank think you. you ended on a great note thank you so much shrividya uh my i pleasure. think next up we have deepak from plural side deepak are you here i do see you but you're on mute so i can't hear you <laughs> this often happens when we connect connect virtually right i i just unmuted me and then you tried from your side as well so hi everyone uh, are we good to start yeah absolutely thank you so hi everyone uh, this is deepak kamraj uh, i am the senior people business partner uh, also the site hr leader for the india operations uh, itc india technology center so prior to this i was i worked for a couple of uh, uh organizations uh, scale their business from uh, 20 to 800 when i departed i was a people business partner also a country hr manager there so i like build to build things from scratch so one other thing uh taking up an opportunity with plural site is we we are setting up our india technology center that means we going to hire uh, closer to 200 people uh, in next uh, 6 to 18 months uh, we'll be building the center uh, and uh, from the augmentation side we will be scaling the operations taking uh, co ownership also trying to enhance our product portfolio uh, that we have in place so we have so much projections put in place that really excited me to pick up on this opportunity like i'm talking to you we have plenty other uh, positions that we see in parallel that we are hiring so one other re, uh, important aspect of uh, plural site is like we not just uh, have values that really we try to showcase uh, to candidates or in the sake just to have it on the wall right we exemplify the values whatever we have uh, we make sure uh, we follow that in our guiding principles and that's not just for a a, a a mid level or for an entry level roles right that goes till the leadership uh, levels that we have in place and uh, all that we have is right from the champion the customer so everybody in our organization is a stakeholder so we call them leaders here that means they have a voice here and everybody can opinion out their feed deepak you just went on mute <laughs> yeah i can't hear you here we go all right now awesome yeah. and right back on mute uh <laughs> let me ask you to unmute i unfortunately i cannot force you to unmute so um maybe yeah i've been doing the ask to yeah. unmute for it's not oh, is it is it fine now yes yeah, i'm in a conference room maybe that's something um that's happening all right so uh, going back to the values i'll just keeping the time in mind uh, i'll be really quick uh, so start with the customer champion the customer that's one of our core value uh, we just make uh, really think about the way how we can instill these behaviors into our workplace ensure the great things that we have been doing uh, we we don't even talk about the external uh, customers right we also talk about the internal internal customer when we mention uh, about the value champion the customers and uh, we make sure uh, all these things are instilled in our day to day work life and uh, uh, that that really makes us how unique we are and uh, we make sure uh, we offer tailored empathetic services 
not just to our external customer, also to our internal customers. That means our people in the organization. That's one thing uh, which I really like about championing the customer, uh, being our value, uh, making sure it's not only focused on our external audience, also making sure our internal audience is taken care of well. And uh, the one other thing, we are also a learning company. We always seek to learn. Uh, that being that as a, one of our value is very vital uh, because that really helps the organization also to bring great talents on board, making sure invest on their growth and uh, strategize things for them to elevate uh, year over year. <coughs> that, uh, vital career opportunity for all of us in the organization. And uh, uh, please feel free to stop me if we are running out of time. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think you can just take a minute more and just wrap it up, the values portion, and then we can move on, if that's okay. Because if you let me talk values, I would talk all day. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and... Uh, we make sure we communicate with purpose. That's one of the other thing. Uh, uh, we have a very candid uh, way of communicating things. We hear the uh, the good news with the bad news. There's not such one, one side of communication. We ensure everybody is included in the room. We, all their opinions are voiced out and their feedbacks are heard. So that's really making us what we are and uh, helping us to grow uh, on a long run as a company that we have in place. And absolutely owning our outcomes. That means uh, we are all empowered to own our outcomes, making sure, pick up an opportunity, elevate us to take us to the ladder, and not just uh, on a professional note, right? And also from a business-centric standpoint, of sharing that in an openly-minded things, that really makes us what we are as an organization. Thank you so much for that, Deepak. That sounds perfect. Uh, we'll move on to UKG with Tulika. I see Tulika right here. Tulika, please take us away. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Tanishka. Hey, hi, everyone. Uh, good evening, good morning, wherever you are, whichever zone you are in. Uh, my name is Tulika Chitriva. I have uh, been working in UKG uh, for the last two years um, around. And my journey has been, uh, you know, full of uh, full of learning, I would say, because I started my career through uh, a search firm and then worked into a product development company and then moved into a big four organization. And then I am here in UKG. So it was not only that my profile was into recruitment, but I was also taking care of learning and development. I worked in both the space. Uh, in UKG, I'm more responsible for the hiring and engineering and uh, non-engineering side, which is into professional services and global delivery services. Uh, prior to this, I've also worked in um, different kinds of domains like forensics, capital projects and infrastructure, and then uh, audits, uh, technology, hiring and everything which I have done. Uh, my association has been there with Dale Carnegie organization as well, uh, wherein I was predominantly focusing on delivering soft skills training and behavioral trainings. I have done my uh, master's in um, behavioral programs as well from uh, Ministry of Skill and Development, soft, soft skills and development. And with respect to my personal life, uh, I have a daughter who's like, who will be four uh, by uh, three or four months of time. And it's just full of excitement. I'm just loving my life because it is a lot of, it's it's full of not only the love from my daughter's side, but also I'm like spending a lot of time in yoga so that I can focus on my health and wealth, uh, wellness. And I'm focusing on reading a lot of books, which is not only from my favorite subjects, but uh, from other areas as well. Let us talk about UKG because I, my association with UKG and I working in UKG is very, very crucial because UKG not only stands for Ultimate Chronos Group, but more than that, it stands for its values like united, kind and growing. Um, our values are reflected in each and every employee's behavior, behaviors. And that is the reason when we say that we are united, uh, we are always better together. We are working together and we are expanding this is how we are expanding in um, uh, in India and uh, uh, in other geographies as well. When uh, we say that we are kind, which means that we will always do the right thing, not only for our employees, for our customers, but also for the communities uh, through our social work, through the foundations we have been working along with, and through the customers which have been in various domains, which have been um, which have been of various sizes as well, from small to mid to uh, big size uh, customers. When we say 
say that we are growing, it means together we are growing because we are able to create that kind of impact in the society, in our customers, in our employees that we are able to grow as an organization. We started in Noida and Bangalore location in India and in both the locations we are expanding. We have been acquired, we have been acquiring a lot of companies. We have got merged with um, Ultimate Group of Company and that is the reason you see the name uh, UKG as well. <clears throat> These are the values which is there in each and every employee and uh, these values are reflected in our behaviors as well yeah Tanishka, if you can that sounds amazing Thank so that so was from my that. side yes with respect to behave uh, with values i would like to just talk for 30 seconds more because um, our values are reflected as i've been telling you that through our employees behaviors it is reflected through the initiatives which we have been taking uh, we are uh, empaneled with other social organizations wherein we are taking care of their education we are taking care of uh, their uh, uh, you know uh, giving them the job opportunities and just supporting them in uh, the wider perspective with respect to taking care of employees not only in their work wise profile but outside as well through their whole life we have employee groups we are which are focusing on the development of all the employees as resources um, with with respect to including them in the main arena of uh, work in UKG. And uh, with respect to benefits in the organizations, we do have top rated benefits, which takes care of the employees in, while they're working in the organization and when they are outside the organization as well. So yes, I'm That's loving perfect. my tenure and I'm happy to be part of uh, Power to Fly to get more involved into the diversity of the profiles. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Tanishka. We are really happy to have you here, Tanika. Thank uh, you. Let's move on to Expedia Group. Maitri, is it Maitri? Yep. I'm not sure. Yes, <laughs> it's it is. Maitri. You, you said it right. I, uh, you can Perfect. hear me, right? Yeah. Perfectly. Please take it away. Yes. Thank you. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Maitri. I am Director of Engineering for Expedia Group. And the weather is awesome in Bangalore. I don't know how many of you are from Bangalore, but I have teams in Bangalore, Gurgaon, Brisbane, Chicago, and so on and so forth. I think that is one thing you realize when you know about Expedia Group, that it is so cross-geo and we are everywhere. And uh, I, I just realized that in everybody's profile, there's a bit of travel. Be it Srividya's, um, I mean, sorry, Srividya is offbeat travel plans and uh, Deepak's exploring places. I'm sure Expedia has... I'm sure all of you have or will experience the world at one time or another, thanks to Expedia. Just wanted to call that out. So um, quickly about Expedia Group, um, we believe that travel is a force for good. We, um, when we make uh, travel happen, we unleash more opportunities to strengthen connections and broaden horizons, bridge divides and everything that is um, you know, colorful and nice. So our mission is to power global travel for everyone, everywhere. And when I say that the scale of things, I'm talking about 200, 200 plus travel sites in over 70 plus countries. The scale that you see is, is humongous. Now, we, we like to, what I want to uh, mention here is we are technologists who power travel. So it is a technology company and we create technology to help millions of travelers search and book, you know, be it um, on Expedia.com or Hotels.com or VRBO or Travelocity, Hotwire, Orbitz. These are some of the brands that we have in our offering. So you must have, uh, you know, searched, found out, learned about travel uh, with any one of these. Now, our brands are backed by industry leading technology and a worldwide team of passionate employees who focus on creating the best travel experience. And I can vouch for it because I've been with Expedia Group for a really long time and I've grown within the, uh, within the group uh, from being a software engineer all the way to a director. Um, now, can we go to the next slide? Yes, we are in the next slide. Perfect. Thank you. In terms of culture and values, similar to everyone that spoke about uh, how values kind of define the culture within the company, this these are the set of values that define the operation within a pod, within a small group of people, within a team, within a group, and within the entire company. This kind of tells us how we behave and how we mature as, an, uh, you know, as a group together. Uh, the main values, I would say, or the only values that define us uh, at this point in time is uh, choose fearlessly. 
um, we need to make our decisions quick. And as everyone else pointed out in different terms, we make mistakes, we learn and we move on. That is really important for us to innovate and kind of move as, a, as technologists for simplicity. We need to drive clarity. We need to create momentum and focus on impactful work. And it needs to be simple. It, it can't be very uh, complicated for teams and pods and individuals to understand and move on and include consciously. Bring people in. As I mentioned, I have teams from all over the world and with teams come their culture. So we need to be kind of open to everyone's culture um, and we need to bring them in, drive success for everyone around you. And we need to seek that diverse ideas and experience to unlock better outcomes. This defines um, you know, the kind of culture we've developed given the cross-geo um, uh, cross um presence of the company. Now trust each other, we challenge each other, um, we challenge the designs, we challenge the architecture, we challenge the ideas. And we also place trust in them to implement whatever, whatever has been decided, whatever has been signed off. Right? The trust is really important, but a critical thing to see here is also that even though we have trust, we need to challenge ideas and kind of work together to come up with what's best. And of course, last but definitely not the least is go get what's next. Um, I read in a book that with in this world where copying code is really easy, like you can copy a strategy, you can copy a design, you can copy a plan. And uh, for anything to go live is short. The only thing that will keep us moving is innovation. And we have to go get what's next. We are always hungry for the better future and we have bigger dreams. So this kind of defines our future uh, innovation plan and um, company uh, looking forward as a whole. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much for that, Maitri. Uh, next up, we have Anusha from Autodesk. Anusha, please take it away. Thanks, Tanishka, for sharing this opportunity to be the part of today's job fair and speaking in front of amazing professional on behalf of Autodesk. Hello, everyone. My name is Anusha Verma, and I'm an APAC recruiter at Autodesk. It's been a year working with an amazing company. And to be very honest, we enjoy working with our values and cultures in Autodesk. I have over nine years of experience working in the product companies like Thales, Gmalto, and Global Logic. So it's always uh, an opportunity to speak about Autodesk and its culture. So we are the global leaders in product designing, manufacturing, constructions, engineering, and media and entertainment. We are so proud to say that we are touching every lives every day from our houses to sustainable energy, to our smart products, to the mesmerizing blockbusters. Over 100 million people uses our product like AutoCAD, Rivet, Maya, 3D, Smarts, Fusion 360, and Sketchbook, and more to unlock their creativity. So our software is run on both personal computers as well as mobile devices through the cloud-based technologies. Autodesk is changing how the world is designed and made. So the fun fact about Autodesk, we started in 1982 and Autodesk name comes from automatic automating desktop. So it's ironically intent to serve only as a placeholder name. Another one is like Disneyland's Star Wars, Galaxy Edge made possible through using our product BIM and Autodesk Shortcut, which is now ShotGrid. Can we move on to the next slide, please? Oh, we're in the second slide only. <laughs> All right. Our culture codes and ways we work in Autodesk are the foundation for how we approach our roles and work with each other at Autodesk. We imbibe our culture through our processes, people, programs, and all functional operations. We have three major pillars of our culture values, and the ways we work. We think it's smart, innovative, and adaptable. We feel inclusive, impactful, and humble. We do courageously, accountable, and pragmatic. The ways we work in Autodesk as one Autodesk. We empower decision makers. We believe in authentic selves and integrity. So there are some benefits as well, uh, which Autodesk provide like week of rest, wellness reimbursements, six weeks sabbatical every four year, which is in US and wellness company holidays and paid voluntary time. 
We also have various programs for the mentorship and professional development opportunities. So we have engineering leaders programs which support the development of aspiring leaders at Autodesk. So this is for our internal employees where we do, you know, they take care of the skills, mindset, behavior, these developments. And we have Autodesk mentorship program, which is for interns. So this is a kind of a one-on-one -on -one session and group mentorship as well. And we have also my learning platform where all our Autodesk employees, as well as the interns can grow their skill set for career and personal development. We do have our diversity and belonging at Autodesk. So we are proud to be an equal opportunity employer and we consider all qualified applicants without regard to race, gender, diversity, veteran statuses and other protected categories. We have our employee resource group, which conduct various programs and initiatives to promote diversity, inclusion, and belongingness within Autodesk. They not only support this internally, but they also support their communities outside of Autodesk. So we have some groups, which is named here, like Asian Network, Black Network, Latinx Network, Pride Network, Veteran Network, Women Network, Young Professional Network. So these are the groups which we have. And it's like you can see the some success stories and testimonies in our LinkedIn ER, ERG page. So you can follow the uh, page with us and uh, I mean, get the, all the information related to the programs and news around it. Thank you for listening. And in case you have any questions, we can take it in a Q&A session. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Anusha. Last but not the least, we have Power to Fly and we have Tanya representing Power to Fly. Tanya, please yes. take it away. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Tanya. I am Senior Director of Engineering at Power to Fly and I joined in 2014 as a developer Power to Fly and contributed to the core of our application. I had an opportunity to grow to a lead and eventually to director position. And currently our R&D research and development team um, has a bit more than 25 team members and we're rapidly scaling. I'm looking forward uh, to meeting engineers today who are interested in working at Power to Fly uh, and why to join, why to join Power to Fly. Uh, so our mission is to fast track economic equity by connecting underrepresented talent to job opportunities. Uh, we are a woman-led company. Uh, we exist to empower talent across all races, ages, ethnicity, sexual orientation, abilities, and gender identities. We believe in the power of diverse voices. We know that talent is equally distributed, but opportunities is not. And we believe that the best way to change a society is via jobs. Um, our values, um, yes, they reinforce our mission and vision. Our team is global and fully remote. Uh, well, that gives us opportunity to hire the best from all the, over the world. Um, every full uh, time team member has unlimited pay time off and a high degrees of flexibility throughout a remote work. So they can thrive anywhere in the world. If they want to relocate, we will definitely support them. Uh, here, everyone uh, is treated equally and exceptionally. And no, more, no matter who are uh, they and where they come from. We believe that representation matters and we want to help people from all backgrounds, regardless of how they identify. Um, if you want to understand how diversity at Partofly looks like, you can visit our about page, partofly.com slash about, and you can find there an extensive statistic about our team by gender, by race, by location. And it's one of the cool features that was recently released by our team. So Check it out, especially if you are an engineer. Um, we are optimistic that we can impact institutions by changing how they hire, retain, and promote underrepresented talent. We know that building diverse team and retaining them is a hard work, and it requires significant resources and intense feedback loop. And feedback is one of our core value at part. Uh, we believe in accountability. Every full-time team member is a co-owner, literally co-owner of Power to Fly. Ownership is a state of mind where we feel fully in charge and do not give any excuses for what needs to be done. It also means understanding, learning, innovation, rather than, rather than um, 
I don't know, mindlessly following instruction. Um, our work is serious and it drives impacts throughout global communities. Uh, that doesn't mean that we cannot show up as our most authentic um, ourselves and enjoy the journey. We celebrate smart work, uh, not endless tasks that uh, could lead to burnout. Our DIB uh, department lead, her name is Sienna, and she really likes to say how we can make it fun. How we can make it fun, she always asks us. So if you know how to solve difficult technical challenges and have fun, Please contact us today. Thank you.